In this video, we're going to do a couple example problems where we're given a problem in interval notation, we need to write it in set builder notation and graph it on the number line. Before we do that, let's just go over a few basics of interval notation. The interval, every interval re refers to one shaded region on a number line. We read the interval left to right, matching the number line. If we include the endpoint, meaning there's an equal to symbol, we'll use brackets. Or if the endpoint is not included, we'll use parentheses. So let's do some examples. Here's our first example. Here's our interval. We're going to express this in set builder notation and graph it on the number line. So what we would probably do first, set builder notation, it, it's an inequality. I think it may be easier if we actually graph it first. So let's graph. We need the number 1. We need the number 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Here's 0. It's not really important you have all these numbers. Uh, parentheses, which means we do not include the 1. Bracket, which means we include the, the 6. Let's do these in bold. Parentheses, bracket. And this interval is one shaded region. So we want this entire region shaded. Now what this means is that we want all the values of, of x that are bigger than 1, not including 1, and less than or equal to 6. So we essentially want 1 to be at the low end, 6 to be at the high end, and we want x to be between them. Now we want x to be less than or equal to, because of the bracket, we are including the endpoint, but we don't want to include 1. So we want x to be greater than 1. Without, there's no equal to sign here. And the set builder notation has a few other details. To make it a set, we use curly braces. And the set builder notation usually has the variable and a vertical line. And this is pronounced the set of all values x such that 1 is less than x and x is less than or equal to 6. So here's the graph, and here's the set builder notation. So let's do this next problem. Again, we're going to draw a number line. Here, the important values are negative 3 and positive infinity. So maybe we can include a 0. Maybe we include positive 3. Maybe a few more tick marks in here. Not really important. And in this one, we're starting at negative 3. We're including it. So we're going to have a bracket. We want to shade everything to the right. I'm going to have a nice heavy arrow at the end. There's a soft bracket here, a soft parentheses, because you can't actually include the number negative or a positive infinity. Infinity is not a number. So this is what the, the graph would be on the number line. Now for the set builder notation, here, we, this shaded region is all the values that are greater than negative 3. So you could just say x is greater than or equal to negative 3. That's the simple inequality. But they ask us to do this in set builder notation, which means we need curly braces for the set. Vertical line means such that. And we're going to put the value x. So our final answer is the set of all values x such that x is greater than or equal to negative 3.